Welcome to this lesson video on asphalt production. In this lesson, we'll learn about asphalt material, the different specifications used for its main mixing ingredients, the asphalt mixing plants, and their safety precautions. Asphalt is very fundamental building material that can exist naturally or artificially. The Trinidad Lake is the most famous natural asphalt source. Nowadays, asphalt is produced as a byproduct of crude oil distillation and refinement. Around 1 to 2 percent of crude oil is refined into asphalt. Asphalt is a major element in constructing flexible pavements. This pavement gained uh, uh, this pavement type gained its name from uh, the viscosity and flexibility of asphalt as its uh, binding material compared to rigid pavements made from uh, plain, concrete, plain cement uh, concrete, PCC. The pavements are designed with objectives of supporting the traffic load, mainly uh, truck axle loads, protecting the aggregate uh, sub-base and base from moisture and uh, rain runoff, providing good uh, riding quality, and minimizing the pavement uh, costs over its life cycle. Asphalt is used in two main products that are used in constructing flexible pavement, asphalt uh, concrete and liquid asphalt cement. Asphalt concrete is made of asphalt cement and aggregate. The amount of aggregate and asphalt mixture is generally 90 to 95 percent by weight and 75 to 85 percent by volume. This large aggregate proportion uh, is due to the fact that uh, the axle load and, the, and an asphalt pavement is primarily carried by the aggregates in the mix. The mix of the asphalt concrete is designed using different standard specifications uh, like uh, HV <coughs> and SuperPave. And the mix is produced in asphalt plants similar to uh, the ready mix concrete plants. The asphalt concrete is used to construct the asphalt uh, surface uh, courses in the pavements, namely the uh, wearing course and the binder, curve, uh, binder course. This photo here shows uh, uh, the different look of uh, the binder, uh, of uh, uh, the binder and uh, wearing. Uh, courses and you can see that the aggregate size difference uh, between them. There are five main considerations when selecting aggregate uh, uh, in an asphalt concrete mix. Let's briefly cover each of them. Well graded aggregate is a requirement for strong pave, uh, asphalt uh, concrete. Uh, super pave specifications uh, define the required gradation of each standard mixes using its own value of nominal maximum aggregate size and mass and corresponding control points. N mass is one uh, size larger than the first sieve that retains more than 10% of the aggregates. N mass design values in super pave are 37.5, 25, 19.5, 12.5, 9.5, half, or 4.75 millimeters. In asphalt plants, the aggregate gradation requirement is achieved by mixing aggregates from three to five segregated stockpiles that uh, follow uh, a coarse, uh, medium, and fine classification uh, of the aggregates. The aggregate proportions uh, from these uh, stockpiles are determined to create a, jo uh, a job mix formula that's followed during the asphalt mixing. Texture is a, a very important aggregate factor, especially in asphalt concrete, as uh, it determines the level of uh, interlocking between the aggregate particles, which in turn defines the mix strength. Uh, round driver uh, run aggregates uh, are not recommended for asphalt mixes, but they can uh, be crushed to create angular aggregates that can be used in uh, asphalt mixes following specific requirements about the minimum number of crushed uh, uh, grain faces and their percentages in the aggregate. 
Clean aggregates are critical to have durable asphalt mix, and this is why it is important to limit the amount of any foreign material that's not specified in the mix design, like clay, dust, and organic material. The porosity level of the aggregates uh, is an important uh, factor in designing the mix, as it can increase or decrease the asphalt cement in the mix to account for the binder amount that's uh, absorbed by the aggregate. Finally, the, the bonding between the aggregate and, and asphalt uh, cement uh, binder is important, and some uh, aggregate types can have binding compatibility issues with some asphalt cements. To resolve this uh, bonding problem, anti-strip uh, additives are added to the mix at uh, the production plant or in the supplied asphalt cement. Let's now switch gears to the second component of the asphalt concrete, the asphalt itself. Traditionally, asphalt has been, has been hot mixed in uh, high temperatures uh, to achieve specific viscosity levels to allow the binder to uh, coat well the aggregate. There are also warm mix asphalts, which are heated at lower temperatures, but using additives that work as mixing uh, lubricants and uh, lower the required mixing temperature. Standard asphalt mixes are specified using three main approaches, penetration grades, viscosity, and performance grades. An asphalt mix is given a penetration grade based on an uh, ASTM grade, uh, standard grade, uh, standard test that measures its N value uh, as uh, the distance in 0.1 millimeter that a 100 gram needle penetrates uh, into an asphalt mix, uh, cement mix within five seconds at a specific temperature. The, mix, uh, the mixes can follow the shown five standard pin grades. The higher the pin value, the more viscous the mix will be. Viscosity is a better property than penetration to engineer and design a building material. There are two viscosity grading types, AC and AR. With AC grading, uh, the asphalt binder is characterized by the properties it possesses before it undergoes the HMA manufacturing process, hot mix asphalt manufacturing process. The AR grading system is an attempt to simulate asphalt uh, uh, binder uh, is, is, is a um, one minute. Uh, the the, it, the AR uh, grading system is an attempt to simulate asphalt binder properties after it uh, undergoes a typical HMA manufacturing process and thus uh, it should be more representative of how asphalt binder behaves in HMA pavements. Viscosity is measured in POAS uh, where a low viscosity asphalt mix will have a low POAS uh, value. The shown table lists the different viscosity standard uh, AC and AR grades, which communicate the POAS required values for the different mixes. For example, AC5 mix is more viscous than AC40 mix. The most common used asphalt mix grades are AC10, 20, 30, and AR40 and AR80. The third grading system is based on the asphalt uh, mix performance, uh, considering different quality metrics like penetration and viscosity. The performance grading is designed following uh, high and low temperature schemes. The shown figure uh, shows the different performance grades that are created um, by matching the different high and low temperature values that are segregated using uh, fixed 6 degrees Celsius intervals. A high performing grade mix is the one that can perform well at both high and low temperatures, like grade 7640. In addition to 
Temperature, the asphalt performance grade is selected considering the traffic speed and truck traffic volume. A low traffic speed and high traffic volumes require upgrading the performance grade to increase the pavement durability. We cover so far uh, the asphalt concrete mix that's used to construct the pavement wearing and binder courses. Liquid asphalt cement, uh, cement is applied between the different layers of uh, uh, the pavement to maintain adhesion and waterproofing between the layers. The liquid asphalt state is maintained during the material application on the construction site using additives that allow heating the mix to temperatures uh, much below the temperature applied in asphalt concrete mixing. Based on the applied additives, there are two types of asphalt cement liquid. First, asphalt cutbacks are made by adding a fuel uh, a product like gasoline and diesel to the asphalt mix, which is clearly not that environmental friendly. These days, asphalt emulsions uh, have been used instead of uh, fuel products to lubricate the mix. Emulsified asphalts are made by adding water and emulsifying agent to the asphalt cement. The agent is a soap-like material that keep, uh, keeps the asphalt cement particles suspended in the water. The liquid asphalt is applied in two coats that exist at different locations within the pavement section. The prime coat is sprayed on the aggregate base before laying the asphalt binder course, while the tack coat is applied between the asphalt course and wearing courses. There are two types of asphalt concrete mix production plants. Uh, let's check the first type, the batch plant. Asphalt batch plants are considered the traditional designs of mixing plants where the mix is done in batches of uh, set proportions that are produced through the plant. Let's see the components of a typical uh, batch plant. The cold feed bends hold the different coarse, medium and fine aggregates that are ready to be mixed according to the design mix, uh, to the mix design. Uh, a built conveyor uh, runs under the bends to collect the aggregate uh, from the different bends uh, from below and deliver, uh, delivers them to the drum dryer. Inside the drum dryer, the aggregates are tumbled through a stream of hot, hot air. The drum has steel uh, angles uh, to move and mix well the aggregate. The hot aggregate is carried by the conveyor to the top of the batch plant tower, while the exhaust air goes through the dust collector. The drum uh, dryer helps to remove any moisture in the aggregates, uh, clean them from dust, and heat them before they get mixed with the asphalt uh, cement. The right temperature should be achieved here, as low aggregate temperature will prevent the aggregate cement bonding and high temperature will harden the cement during the mixing uh, process. The dust collector um, or the bag house filters the exhaust air from the drum dryer before releasing it to the outside air or recycling it back to the drum. In filtration mode, uh, the dust air flows through the filter bag walls, leaving the dust particles hanging on the bag from outside. In the bag cleaning mode, the air flow is reversed to kick the collected dust off the bag. The asphalt cement or a binder uh, in, uh, stores, uh, is stored in a hot uh, liquid uh, storage uh, tanks that keep the asphalt in uh, the required temperature. The tank temperature is maintained using direct fire heater that changes the temperature for every unique asphalt gate. Typically, the storage temperature is kept to 275 degrees Fahrenheit for soft asphalts, like PG performance grade 5234, 
and 333, 330 degrees Fahrenheit for hard asphalts like PG7022. The last and most uh, uh, visible part of the batch plant is its mixing tower, which houses hot aggregate elevator, um, hot screens, hot bins, aggregate weight hopper, asphalt weight uh, bucket, and hog mill or mixer. The elevator delivers the aggregate to the hot screens, which split it into four hot bins. The mix ingredients are controlled using the weight hopper and buckets and then dumped into the bug mill for mixing. The delivery trucks drive under the tower to load the asphalt mix and deliver it to the site. Let's now see how drum mix plants are different. They are similar to the batch plants, uh, but we see there are there is no something missing. Yes, it's the mixing tower. Uh, the seething, weighing, and mixing functionalities of the tower are now done by the drum and the cold uh, feel uh, cold feed system. In the cold feed system, the aggregate is weighed and sieved per the mix design requirement. Uh, considering the moisture content already existing in the bins. The drum here performs both drying and mixing. Let's summarize our, our asphalt production plants uh, discussion with a comparison table. As we discussed the drum and cold field system and the drum uh, mix uh, plant replaced the weighing and mixing functionalities of the tower and the batch plant. Batch plants are more flexible um, to change the mix design as the mix customization is pushed down the plant all the way to the mixing tower. While we need to wait for the drum uh, mix plant to be done with its mixing and the drum to start a new mix from the cold feed system. On the other hand, uh, drum mix uh, plants are newer with more efficient heating and mechanical systems which make drum mix plants more economical. Last top topic to cover is in this lesson uh, uh, is uh, for safety considerations in asphalt production. You can guess by now that there are mainly two safety hazards in asphalt uh, plants, fire and moving mechanical parts. There are serious fire hazards in these uh, plants due to the continuous heating of the liquid acid uh, asphalt and the mix at high temperatures. Also, plant operator operators are under the risk of being entangled in the belts and conveyors that can suddenly operate for uh, uh, can suddenly start running for an asphalt concrete mix. Thank you for watching, and take care.